Hi everyone, it's Chelsea again. I wanted to jump on really quick and do a budget with me for our cash stuffing on Friday. It was an interesting week so far with the cash envelope system. I'm still getting adjusted to it. Um, it's also been a very busy week at work. I went back from holiday um, starting yesterday and I'm an accountant, you guys. I don't know if I told you that. So I'm in the middle of year end trying to close 2021. Um, it's been a very stressful week and it's only uh, day two. So um, I just want to jump on here, get this situated and get it ready for Friday so that we can come back together and cash stuff. I prepared the sinking funds tracker. Um, I filled in all the categories and stuff just to make the recording here a little shorter than the very first one. Um, like I said, we are learning as we go. And so I noticed immediately that that could help us out. So we're gonna get this started. Let's pick this. So happy new year everyone um, I hope everyone's having a good new year so far and um, I really feel that this year 2022 is going to be a good one for a lot of us so this is January of 22 and the sinking fund stuffing date will be on the 7th the Friday 2022 so we'll see how we did, um, any leftover money. So let's get this over. Grocery, you guys, um, has nothing in it. <laughs> I did try to stay within my $50 budget, but um, some things had, hap hap had happened and I couldn't. But the good news is, is the amount of money that we went in over in groceries, my boyfriend paid for it. So I myself only spend 50. But there is nothing left over in this envelope. Um, as my given amount every week, I'll be adding 50. And the balance will be 50. And that'll be a $50 bill. Gas. Like I said, I work at home, you guys, and I only go into the office once a week, so I never had to put in gas. So the $10 I put in on Friday is still in here. I'm just gonna keep um, keep this money in here and keep adding to it because eventually I'll need gas and I'll just fill it up. Um, it takes about 40, 40 to forty-five dollars to fill up, so and I only fill up like once a month, so that that'll work out great. So we're gonna keep that ten in here. We're gonna add ten, and the balance will be twenty. And that'll be a $10 bill. Eat Out was another interesting one. I was fully prepared with my $20 bill. Um, I went into the office on Tuesday. But what happened was we went to a fast food restaurant. But the fast food restaurant decided to close their indoor dining. Even though we were not dining in, we just wanted to order so we could all pay separate. Um, they closed inside entirely and only will allow drive through so um, my girlfriend ended up paying for myself and her just so we didn't have multiple transactions on one car um, and said that I could pay for next week's lunch for her. So I'm definitely keeping the money in here um, just in case we go somewhere more expensive next this next Tuesday. Um, I did spend a little bit of it because... I had a I had a slight migraine for a couple days and so yesterday morning I went and got an energy drink so that's where the missing money went to so I have $16 left I'm gonna keep it in here for next week's lunch I'm gonna add back my weekly 20 and that'll leave a balance of 36 and that'll just be a $20 bill Ahead and put that back so I'm still getting used to it you guys there's been a lot of like hiccups this week on my first week on the budget but you know we adapt and we learn and we move forward 
So moving on to our savings challenge, I'm still only doing the 100 envelope challenge. Um, you can do it with me. I am sharing my numbers here on YouTube, of course, but I'm also sharing them together on TikTok. So go ahead and follow me there. It is um, the same name as YouTube, and however, on TikTok, it has an underscore at the end, so it's Cash and Cats. Um, cats and Cash, I'm sorry, Cats and Cash underscore. There's an underscore at the end for TikTok. But this week's numbers, I went ahead and already asked Siri just so I can better prepare my sinking fund or, or my budget on camera. So the numbers that we chose, that she chose for us are... We'll do a leftover zero, 21 and 70. So we will do that together on um, YouTube Shorts and TikTok. So um, follow me on there. You can keep updated with those. This one for 21 is going to be a 20 and a 1. And then 70 will be a 50 and a 20. Um, okay, so moving on to my, uh, sinking funds, I am giving myself $300 a week. That's what I plan on doing. Um, I am changing it a little bit this week because I made my first Etsy sale, you guys. So I'm going to include that into this week's amount that I'm allowed to spend. Um, I ended up selling... Uh, my 100 envelope savings box. So, you guys, I have tons of these available. They are already made. So, if you order one today, you it will be shipped out today. They are already made. They are, in my opinion, I'm a little biased, but they are gorgeous, you guys. I handmade at each one. Um, they're made out of glitter paper, and they're already pre-numbered. So, go check it out um, on my Etsy They are um, $75, you guys, and like I said, ready to go. So I did sell one of these. It's on its way to its new home. So I'm going to include the funds into this week's cash stuffing. Sorry guys, I'm a little distracted. I am on lunch at work, but um, an email just caught my eye. So I do, I do greatly apologize for that. Um, so let me get refocused here. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. So with that being said, with my new Etsy sale, the amount that I'm going to give myself this week is um, $370. So how I like to do my budget is that I am going to subtract these given amounts here. I'm also going to subtract the sinking funds that get specific dollar amounts, which I marked with um, a star. I'm going to subtract all of those from 370 and then I'll disperse the balance of that. So let's go ahead and fill out our important sinking funds with their designated dollar amounts. Um, so we're going to do carport um, will be $2. Nails is 30. Riley, my cat, is 15. Laundry is five, travel is 50, and appliances is 20. So we'll go through, um, again, I, I don't have a calculator yet. I haven't bought one. Um, it's been a crazy week, I know. I was supposed to get one for the dollar store, but I didn't. So I'm gonna um, subtract these off camera. I, I'm so sorry you guys can't see this. So we're gonna take 370 
And we're gonna minus our, we have to add an amount, so 50 minus 10 minus 20, that gives us 290, okay? Minus 21 minus 70, and that gives us 199, and then we'll minus 2 minus 30 minus 15 minus 5 minus 50 minus 20. And what it leaves us with is $77 to disperse among the rest of them. And I believe there's 12, if I remember correctly from last week. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12, I don't think that equals a nice number. It doesn't. So let's do... I'm going to put $6 in most of these. No, you know what? I'm going to make it easy. No, we're going to keep that. We're going to do $6 in most of these, and then the balance will go into my snowball. Because, again, the main goal of me wanting to do sinking funds and cash envelopes and all of these, these things was to pay off my debt. So I need to be bulking up this snowball, I feel like. So I'm going to put $6 in each. I'm going to put the rest of the money in here, which I believe is $11. I'm pretty sure. So, six, six, six. So together we will now um, figure out what is left over in these cash envelopes and then we will um, do the new balance and then we'll be all set. Nice quick and easy recording here for you guys. Just budget with me. Um, how's your week going? Uh, let me know. Uh, you already know how my week's going. I hope it gets a lot better for me and I hope it gets um, stays good or if it's not going good I hope it gets better for you too. can see that okay so car maintenance a lot of these haven't been touched you guys so they're gonna have the same balance as they did last week one two three four so car maintenance had four it'll add six so there will be a total of ten we're adding six it'll be a five and a one Next is carport. Carport has one two dollars. We're adding two. That'll be a total of four dollars, and that'll be two ones. Next is nails. Um, my friend ended up paying for my new set of nails for a Christmas present, so I didn't have to pull anything out of here besides the tip. So, um, there is 25 left. We're going to be adding 30. And that puts us at 55 for nails. And that'll be a 20 and two fives. Okay, personal one, two, three, four dollars from last week. We're adding six, that'll be a total of ten, and it'll be a five and a one.
Casino. One, two, three, four dollars from last week. We are adding six. It's ten dollars now. And that'll be a five and a one. Cricket. This is what I need to use the money to buy the calculator. I'm gonna try to do it this week. One, two, three, four from last week. Six dollars we're gonna add, which is ten. And that'll be a five and a one. Okay. The next we have is candles. Uh, I just got a Bath and Body Works coupon in the mail, so... You know, I might go buy a candle with my coupon, but who, we'll see. So, um, in here we had one, two, three, four, four dollars. We are adding six, and it'll be a five and a one. Riley. My cat, she's not gonna come say hi today. I have my boyfriend's dog with me and they are avoiding each other like the plague. So she's not gonna come talk today, um, but that's okay. So Riley has 10, 20, 25, 30 in her envelope. We are adding 15, it'll give her 45. And that'll be a 10 and a five. Okay, let's switch this over. Let's see here. Decor. One, two, three, four. We are adding six. It'll have a balance of ten, and that'll be a five and a one. Laundry, um, that just has a $5 bill in it, and it'll get a five. So it'll have a t total of 10. And that'll be a $5 bill. Clothes. If you guys ordered from the website Sheen, I think I'm saying that right, S-H-E-I-N, um, the clothes seem very affordable. I just don't know the quality. So if you could let me know, um, that would be great. I do see a lot of cute things. I just want to know if they fit well or whatnot. So clothes has, um, one, two, three, four. It's going to get six. That'll be a total of 10 and it'll be a five and a one. Okay, next we have household. So um, this has nothing in it, obviously. I had to buy laundry detergent so bad. So I went ahead and did that. I found a couple coupons, so I, I, I did get a good deal, I think. Um, so household has zero. We're gonna be adding six. The balance will be six, and that'll be a five and a one. Okay. Yarn. I actually do need to go to the yarn store to work on this new blanket. I'm running out of yarn, so luckily for me, a skein, one skein costs four dollars, so I already have enough for one. One, two, three, four. Um. So yeah, that'll probably be gone here soon. This will have a balance of ten, and we're adding six, a five and a one. Okay. Travel. I'm not going to pull it out, guys. It has $50 in it, you can see. We're adding $50. It'll have a total of $100, and that'll be a $50 bill. Okay, appliances. Again, I'm not going to pull it out. It has $20. Um, it's going to have a total of $40. And that'll be a $20 bill. 
Okay, Sabrina, we skipped. She funds it on her, her, her on her own. Yes. One, two, three, four. Four dollars. That'll be a total of ten. We're adding six, so a five and a one. Babe. Babe is sick, you guys. I um, had to dip into my own personal um, money in my account. The money that I wanted as a buffer to get them some, you know, like bath soap and um, some Epsom salt so he can soak. I was debating on taking it out of his envelope, but I felt bad for the guy, so... I just use my little buffer. Um, like I said, we're learning, right? <laughs> we'll get it together here soon. So Babe still has his four bucks. Um, we're gonna add six to it. It'll be a total of 10, and that'll be a five and a one. And then Snowball. Snowball has one, two, three, four. We're adding 11. That'll be a total of 15. And that'll be a 10 and a one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these up. And hopefully if I did it right, it'll equal $370. Um, I wanna let you guys know that I plan on doing um, a debt breakdown here in in a little while, not today, but hopefully this week, I at least want to get my balances written out before the, you know, this month's payments apply so that I can do a debt um, breakdown every quarter, so every three months. Um, I think that'll be very helpful and it'll help me know which debts will be getting my snowball. So I kind of have an idea um, obviously, but it would be a lot help, more helpful if I write it out. So I'm going to write it out with you guys, if you don't mind. Um, putting it out in the open, I think is good for me. I think it's going to keep myself accountable. So let's add these up. Let's switch my color. Let's do green. So one. So we have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Let's transfer these over. Page one. Two, four, two, eight, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus eight is fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus eight is fifteen. One, three, one and five, one, three. So we'll transfer this down. Three, five, 3, 15, and 15. This is 150. This is 100. 30. 75. And 15. So 150, 250, 280. 355, 370, you guys. We did it. So, I'm going to add these um, these fields here off camera since I don't have a <clears throat> calculator. So, you wouldn't be able to see me adding it up anyways if I did it here with you guys off to the side. So, I'm just going to do it later. Um, <clears throat> so, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep this. That worked out really well. I'm going to cash stuff on Friday. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys have a good day today and yeah, talk to you on Friday. Okay. Bye.